Wake up already! It's late in the afternoon! Yes, I'm awake. General cleaning is scheduled today so you have to wake up. Wait for a second. I clean my room, my room first. That's good to hear. But before that, we're going to know a little bit of knowledge about cleaning and sanitizing. So what's the history of cleaning and sanitizing? The history of cleaning products began to slowly evolve until the middle of 1900s when modern soap products began to emerge. From the very beginnings of washing of dirt and mud to the start of the Middle Ages, most cleaning compounds were made from a mix of ashes, animal or plant fats, and oils. Let's proceed in sanitizing. So what is the history of sanitizing? In 1862, the Frenchman Louis Pasteur proved that bacteria can only evolve from existing bacterial cells and not from inanimate matter. The chemists developed and pioneered the procedures of disinfection, sterilization, and pasteurization. It looks something like this. Smile and learn! Step 1. Wet your hands and apply soap. Step 2. Rub your palms together. Step 3. Rub the back of your hands with your palms. First the right one, and then the left one. Step 4. Interlock your fingers 
and rub your hands well. Step 5. Cup your fingers and rub your cupped palm with the opposite hand. Then swap. Step 6. Enclose your left hand with your right thumb and rub well. Then swap. Step 7. Rub the tip of your fingers over your left palm and then swap. This way, we clean away dirt that may have been left under your fingernails. Step 8. Rub around your wrist with the opposite hand. Then swap. Step 9. Rinse soap off your hands. Step 10, the last one. Dry your hands with a clean, dry towel. Did you like the video? Good day, everyone. My name is Megan P. Galang, student athlete in St. Clair College. Today, I will show to you guys what is the meaning of sanitation, and I will also give an example of it. Sanitation is the process of maintaining cleanliness and dealing with sewage. Sanitation encompasses the facilities, behaviors, and services that prevent diseases caused by contact with human waste. Sanitation refers to public health conditions related to clean drinking water and treatment and disposal of human excreta and sewage. Now, I will give you guys some words and pictures that related to sanitation to help you understand and get it easily. Disinfection, hygiene, cleanliness, asepsis, sanitization, drinking water, water supply, irrigation, and sewage disposal. Now that I finished explaining brief meaning of sanitation, now let's have an example and sanitize a laptop. This is the laptop that we're gonna sanitize. Here's the things that we're gonna use alcohol, dishwashing liquid, brush, cotton, and cloth. First, we put water on the cloth and squeeze it. Use the dishwashing liquid and slowly wipe the laptop. Then, use dry cloth to dry it. And then, put some water again to the cloth and squeeze it. And then same thing, use the dishwashing liquid and wipe the screen very gently. Then dry it using a dry cloth. Then use the brush to remove the dust on the keyboard. Then use alcohol and cotton and wipe it very gently to the keyboards. And that's it. That's how I sanitize my laptop. And that's all for. Thank you, ma'am.
share to you all my basic cleaning and sanitation that I always do in our tiny kitchen. So let's get started. So after I eat, I'm going to wash my dishes immediately to prevent bacteria stay alive on surfaces. So on dishes that have contamination like food particles, bacteria can stay alive for a very long time if you don't wash your dishes immediately. After I wash it, I wipe it with a clean towel before I put it into the clean dish organizer. After I wash my plate, I made a cleaning solution with a mixture of water and chlorine to sanitize our kitchen sink to make sure that there were no bacteria left that could contaminate our prepared foods and to prevent pests that could land on our kitchen sink. I make sure that I can sanitize all areas. So I also included our cooking stove to make sure no dirt is left in our sink. These are simple things we only do in our sinks after we prepare foods, cook, and eat. But it is very important that we clean and sanitize our kitchen sinks because cleaning removes all visible dirt, soil, chemical residues, and other gens from equipment, utensils, and work surfaces. While sanitizing, which is performed after cleaning, reduces the number of microorganisms to a safe level. So after I clean and sanitize our whole tiny kitchen sink, my hands are dirty so I wash my hands properly to remove the germs and chemicals that cling to my hands while I am cleaning, which will be detrimental to my health when it enters to my body. That's why hand hygiene is very important to remove or kill microorganisms on the hands. When you wash your hands correctly, it is the single most effective way to prevent the spread of disease and stay healthy. You can use either soap and running water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer to effectively eliminate germs. Don't forget to use clean towel to dry your hands. from HM1M and this time we were going to shoot a video about actual sanitation practices and cleaning in our kitchen or either in the workplace. In this video show the proper cleaning and sanitizing that we must follow to avoid contact with illness or diseases. And first of all, let's use some personal protective equipment like hand gloves to avoid cross contamination. And second is face mask to prevent healing chemicals we use later. Food contact surfaces should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized after each use to remove germs that can cause illness. 
clean and sanitize the sink. Then scrap leftover food into the garbage. Then stack dishes in dish racks. Do not stack dishes on top of each other as this will not allow water to circulate properly. To keep them from filling water under glasses, cups, and bowls should be upside down in the dishwasher. Here are the facts on cleaning and sanitizing. Cleaning and sanitizing are different. Cleaning uses soap and water, while sanitizing uses chemicals or heat to kill germs. Surfaces that look clean can still have germs. Sanitizing reduces these germs to safer levels. Food contact surfaces should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized between each use. Follow the label directions on all sanitizers. Never add soap to sanitizer. If washing dishes by hand, use the three sink method to wash, rinse, and sanitize dishes. Store bowls upside down and store utensils and dishes at least six inches off the ground. Never touch a part of a dish or utensil that a guest's mouth might touch. Hi guys, my name is Angel Angeles from BSHM1M. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ako mag clean and sanitize. So, ang first step natin, i-pagsasamasamain muna natin yung mga pirang pagsakin. Para mabilis. Pagkatapos nating pagsamasamahin ng mga pirang pagkain, ang sunod naman natin ay sasabunan na natin using liquid soap. Dishwashing liquid soap. Uunayin nating sabunan yung mga baso. Sunod naman yung mga kutsara at tinidor. At pagkatapos ng kutsara at tinidor, isusunod na natin ang mga mangkok. At ang panghuli ay ang mga plato. Pagkatapos natin sabunan, babandawan na natin. Punang bandawan ng mga baso. Sanitize na tayo. Lalagyan lang natin siya ng mainit na tubig. Pagkita tayo dito ang paglagyan ng mga pagsasanitizan at pero din tayo dito mainit na tubig. Lipat muna natin ang mga pagsasanitize. Okay. 
lalong lalo ng mga kutsara. siya ng mga dalawang minuto bago natin siya ipatuyo. Air dry lang ang kailangan niya. Hindi na natin kailangan magbasahan dahil may mga naiwang basa. May mga naiwang dumi sa basa. After 2 minutes na pagsasanitize, ilalagay na natin siya dito para matuyo na siya. Thank you for watching.